Welcome back into this new video to Express. Today, I'm going to show you how to link your GoDaddy domain directly inside Google Sites. So this process is going to be really easy. You have a few prerequisites in order to continue. So before we dive in, these are a few steps we need to know. First of all, you need a domain, of course, purchased by GoDaddy in order to continue. And you need to have access to Google Site. To have access to Google Sites, the only thing you need to do is to have a Google account or a Gmail account. So go directly into sites.google.com to have access into Google Sites. And then go directly into create a start new site. And you can start to customize your store as you're getting started. Once you have access to it, and once you have created and of course designed your domain, then it is time to get starting and of course customizing our domain. So to start the domain process connection, first of all, we want to focus into the GoDaddy. Let's sign in and locate our domain purchase it. Once you selected your domain, it is time to find out the DNS records. So if you focus into DNS, you can see that you have the registers of DNS. So you have all of this information. So what you need to do is to delete the domains that you're currently seeing in here so you can start adding more. So if I go here into Google Sites, I can go into the section that says Settings. Inside Settings, let's locate custom domains. Once you locate custom domains, let's go for the start the setup. So before I can start the setup, I want to make sure that what is exactly the domain they're currently using. As you can see, it's going to be sites.google.com, view, text, press, videos, home. So this is too long and I want to have my custom domain into my Google Sites. So let's go back here into customize settings. Let's go into custom domain and start the setup. Now it should be asking you to enter the domain. Just leave this with triple W, go back into GoDaddy and copy and paste the domain that you have purchased. In this case, it would be triple W.Texpress.ltd. Now it's going to be telling you that this domain has not been verified yet. So we needed to verify the ownership of this account in order to use it into Google Search Console. Now we're going to be focusing here into the Google Search Console verification process. Let's go here for a continue. Now, it's going to be asking you to enter a TXT file directly from GoDaddy. Automatically, the Google understands that we come from GoDaddy, so we can start the verification from GoDaddy. So let's go for continue. This one should be sending us directly here into GoDaddy. Let's go for connect, and our connection should be successfully done. So usually, we don't have to do absolutely anything else. But just in case you have anything added here or something is not working correctly, you can go directly into add it manually. So to add it manually, usually it's going to be giving you a TXT file so you can just paste it into GoDaddy.com section. Going back directly into GoDaddy, you can go into add a new DNS and here's the register of your DNS. Since we no longer have access to a specific domain from GoDaddy, let's try it out with something else. But it's exactly the same process. We just need to do is to once again check the verification. And here you have the TXT file. So you can focus into TXT recommended. I copy this information and I need to go back into my DNS records of my domain company. So let's go for add new record. Let's go for TXT record and paste the value. Now into the value, you want to make sure that this one is add. And of course, okay, for save changes. Once you've done this process, you can go back directly here and go for verify. This might be taking up to five minutes, so you want to take your time in order to make this process. If this one hasn't worked already, you can of course go back and make sure that you have done this process a few minutes later. Now, you want to make sure, of course, you don't have enough TXT records added here uh, that are maybe not making working our automation. So I'm going to delete this, stick around with Google Site Verification go back with the verification and try this out once more. Once your old step is verified, you can go into done. Let's go back into Google Sites and let's try this once again. As you can see that we are now ready to go for next and add the third party domain register. So instead now of a TXT should be a CNAME file. So let's go here for CNAME record, triple W, and I'm going to just paste all the information provided in here, including the including the period at the end. So I copy it, I paste it, and I go for save my changes. This might be taking more than five minutes, so be patient here since the domain is going to be assigned. Once you have done this process, then you can start to figure out if this one is actually working or not. 
Once again, this might be taking time to so make sure that you wait up to 48 hours to this be published. So go for published and you're actually good to go. So I'm going to hit now into copy the link and just wait. If the link is not working for me, you don't have to worry about it. You can just try it out a few minutes later until you're actually successfully done. So with that being said, guys, we have now reached the very end of the video. Hopefully this was a very useful information for you, how I can link your GoDaddy domain directly into Google Sites. Thank you once again for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.